for the next uh, two nights. And I got about a three hour drive, three and a half hour drive through a rainstorm to get there. So, and I've not been to the store to have gotten good old snackages. And I know that this is going to be one of those times where I'm not here to cook and do all my keto stuff so this is going to be one of those temptation type trips and it's going to be real easy to say you know what i'm just going to say fuck it and go to get some fast food and we end up working extra long hours to try and get this thing done so uh, this is going to be hard or this is going to be a real test We've done great thus far with uh, the 15 pounds off, uh, tightening up the belt some, and getting into a little bit better shape. Uh, let's see if we can keep it up. That's going to be the hard part. Um, we'll definitely be needing that extra energy because it's a long drive and it is raining like hell. So I'm going to do my regular keto coffee this morning. <clears throat> and then probably tomorrow I'll try and fast. That way it'll help to uh, keep down the temptation some. Because it's easy to slip back into the old ways of stuff. It's really easy. But I'm going to see what I have here. <clears throat> It just seems like there just has not been enough time to do everything. Last night was the first dinner that I've cooked since uh, Monday because uh, with Simba <clears throat> passing, that was uh, we had the chili and hot dogs, and then the next day we went to Chipotle because we had to go down the road to take care of some rental properties, and then last night we cooked the uh, shrimp. The shrimp are pretty good. Still not quite as good as the regular flour and breadcrumbs, but they were actually pretty good for um, <clears throat> air fried. Um, the funny thing about using the air fryer was, it seemed like, especially with the fish, I think the fish is better than the shrimp in there. And I think it's because you've got more of the fish <clears throat> and the shrimp are so small. You get more intensity of the <clears throat> pork skins and the almond flour on the shrimp because I think the shrimp are so small. Whereas the fish fillets, um, there's a lot more meat in there, so you don't get that overwhelming taste of the coconut, I mean the almond flour in it as much as you do the shrimp. I think you just get overwhelmed. It's just too much bread for it. So I'll work on that one. Um, I think I want to try the chicken wings that way in the air fryer. Or maybe the chicken wings in the air fryer with just the skin on it and not put the baking powder. Do not put the baking powder on there where they say it makes it crispy it makes it crispy nasty is what it makes it it makes it crispy nasty so don't do don't do that don't do that but um yeah it's gonna be a, a long day an interesting day i'm gonna miss working in my workshop i've gotten a newfound love for being creative out there now building things and um it'll be three days without it I still have a few projects that I need to get finished in there. In the meantime, I'm going to try and eat plenty of salads. Try to stay away from fast food and pre-made stuff. And uh, that's all we can do. And if I slip, I slip. Thing is, just get right back up and get back to doing your thing. Um, nobody's ever going to be perfect. And there's going to be times where you fail 
or you get a setback. But you only fail when you give up. So I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep on working it, keep on trying to get it together. And uh, take it one day at a time. Okay, good people. That's all I got this morning because it's too damn early. I'm going to do my morning video downstairs for my Dallas Cowboys. Um, they don't seem to be appearing to doing anything as far as signing their own free agents. I think they're looking to let most of their guys walk. And um, then I'm going to hit the road. Hope you guys have a great day. Make sure you guys leave a message. Um, I appreciate everybody saying good morning. I usually don't get to the comments and stuff till the afternoon, so I'm a little bit late on it, but you know, good morning, everybody. And any morning that you can wake up and get out of bed is definitely a good morning. All right, I'll catch you on the flip side.